class, there's some basic running back drills that um, basically every football player should know, every college team, Pee Wee, high school, middle school. Uh, just some basic stuff that just every football running back should know. So we're going to start off uh, like any anybody should before doing anything, extracurricular activity, we're going to uh, stretch, uh, get our muscles fired up so, we're gonna, so anybody won't pull anything. So basically we're going to start off with uh, we we'll start off spreading our legs. Just put the footballs in front of you. We're gonna spread our legs. We're gonna go down to the right, grab the uh, grab the ankle with both hands. Just go about 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. No, no. 
Snap. Swap it over. Did you do this one? Do this leg? Thing you're pulling in, you're a mile before it. But okay, uh, our next thing we're gonna do is just uh, some basic warm up drills, you know, nothing that's gonna tire anybody out or make you exhausted or anything. Just make sure you're warm before you uh, get inside our drills. So, our first thing we're gonna do is gonna start with uh, high knees. Uh, basically, we just go halfway to the cone. Well, instead of going there and back, we'll just go all the way to, uh, to the second cone. So, I'm gonna give that example. It's, it's just basically, it's a simple thing. Just keep your knees up, you don't need to ball. Keep your knees up, up your arm. Finish through the car. Our next thing we're gonna do is another one of is It's a shuffle. Very simple. Start with your left foot on the car. Don't get, get low, get low as you can. And you're gonna start by pushing off your right leg, stretching out. Don't stretch the inside of your legs, and you're going. Push, push, never cross over. Don't let your heels cut together Quickness of getting your foot out the ground, call it skipping A's. Make sure your hands touch every time. Make sure you put them in your hamstring. Our next thing we're gonna do is a uh, couple sprints. Nothing that's gonna wear anybody out. Just make sure they're warm. Sure and uh, take, and we don't want to take any chances to pull anything. So we're just gonna do a couple sprints to make sure. Okay. Our first sprint, we're gonna start our right hand down, left foot up on the cone. We're just gonna take three hard steps, stride out as far as you can, <laughs> as fast as you can. For three steps, only three steps.
So basically, all right. So basically, what we're gonna do? I'm gonna teach you the basics um, of being a running back. The most important thing, first up, is ball security. So what I call this is the pivot claw. Take that and sit the nose of the ball right in between them, and just let your other fingers, let your other fingers wrap around it. Got that? Okay. And as you grab it, you should, you should be able to sit in your hand just like that. Just like an eagle grab would be. Okay, next, you sit it on your forearm. Make sure it's still in the eagle claw. Pull it into your bicep. And keep it high tight. And when you hear me refer to keeping your back door closed, that means keep the elbow to your side. And it should, it should just be an easy running form. But never let the ball come down here. Never let it come down here. Keep it high and tight. It should be an easy running form, just like you're running without it. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna get you to the partner up. Let's see. No, it don't matter. You can do it. Y'all You know, just partner up. Basically, what you're gonna do? You're gonna drop your ball. Y'all gonna drop your ball. Okay. So I'm gonna get you. We're gonna get behind. Him. I'm gonna get you to run with it. And I just want you to hit it. Make sure it won't come out. All right. So now we gotta. Physically assaulting you. <laughs> Don't let it. Just keep running. Keep the same run, running for him. Let, never let the ball get away from your body. As soon as the body get away from your body and he swats at it, it's a fumble. It's a turnover. All right. We're gonna swap arms. Same thing. Go. Normal running for like him, just like you run. There you go. There you go. All right, swap it over. Fumble. All right, starting with dumb the hand first. Go. Oh! That's a fumble. You can crawl into your forearm, bicep, lock your back door. Keep it. There you go. Use the muscles. There you go. All right. Keep it. Keep it to your body. There you go. Yeah. Like you. Like you coming across. Good. Good. Swap arms. Good. So y'all got the concepts. I mean, we can go on and on with ball security drills, especially with college coaches that we have nowadays. They'll come up with anything to protect the football. But we're gonna move on to how you accept the handoff, which is basically if you're going right, keep your right hand down, your left arm up, and let the quarterback never reach for the football. You keep it against your body, let the quarterback put it in there. And if you're going left, right hand up. And yeah. Right hand up, left hand down. Never reach for it, let the quarterback put it in there. So we're gonna start off by going right, and I'm just handing it to you. He just finish on at the next corner. We'll start down there. Remember, going right, right hand up, left hand down. Ready? Go. There you go. You said right hand up, left hand down. Yeah. Okay. Go. Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong. You said right, right up, hand. left down. Right hand up, left hand down. Like this? Oh, that's going left. Swap it. Yeah. There you go. Okay. My bad, my bad. Go. 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 Alright, so we're going to go the opposite way now. Go. Go. So that's the basic thing of receiving handoff. And uh, that's one of the most basic things that you do to be a running back. 